What is going on everybody? This is Stai here and today I am bringing you guys a brand new uh, Discord bot tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to have your bot um, add roles to users. So ideally what would happen is I myself am a user and let me actually just remove myself from this role real quick. I would type in a command and I would type in the desired role that I want. So for example, let's say helper is a role in my server. I'll type that in. The bot would do something about it right and it would pretty much just say okay well i see that the user's trying to add themselves to a role let me let me do that you know does it in the background and then once all that's done the user should have the role that they desired okay so yeah that's pretty much the gist of it so let's actually get started on how to implement this algorithm or this command so everything's going to be done inside the client.on message event function Right, because every so what because what triggers the bot is you know an event, right? So yeah, if uh, let's see if message dot content dot to lowercase. So I'm just forcing my command and everything else to be lowercase. Uh, you don't have to do this if you want. You know if you can just have it so that you just have to be precise. But if you want to be nice and you know make things less you know make it make it uh more I guess friendly for your uh, for your users, you can do this. Because some people do make mistakes when they type in, because you know they accidentally type in uh, uppercase. Uh, I'm gonna do starts with, so that way I know that if you know the message if it starts with the command, then we know that they're trying to add themselves to a role, right? Um, okay, cool. Next thing I'm gonna do. So here's what's actually gonna happen. So I'm actually only gonna show you guys how to add, how to have the bot add themselves to just one role at a time. Um, so we're only going to be allowing the user to add themselves to one role, right? Um, let me actually get this to get rid of this. Okay. So yeah. So well, so the idea is basically I'm going to say okay, add role helper, right? Um, but let's say for example in the future we're going to have them type in multiple arguments to add multiple roles, which this base this case basically you know accounts for it, right? Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking um, the message, right? And I'm going to be putting it into an array, uh, but what I'm what I'm actually going to be actually let me let me rephrase that. I'm taking the message and I'm splitting the message upon spaces. So everywhere there's a space, it's going to take each word separated by a space and it's going to store it in its own index in the array. So I'm going to go ahead and create an array, okay? And I'm going to do message dot content dot two lowercase um, split, okay? Space. So what this does is it splits everything up into a space I'm, I'm sorry it splits every single thing inside the message between a space and puts those words into your array I'm not sure if that makes sense but uh, you know I'll just I'll just show it to you guys so you guys can actually see you know there we go and you can see how all these things are you know in their own elements in the array which is really good so now some of you guys might probably be wondering well what if I'm trying to add a role let's say there's a role called steam awards 2018 right and the problem with this is that it will split this up it will treat it as if these three were their own individual roles how would you fix that right now there's multiple ways that you can you know go about doing this um there's now there's two things that i would recommend one you provide a keyword for your users so for example rather than saying you know rather than typing out the entire thing which is kind of tedious if you ask me you just do sa 2018 and that would basically be the keyword for the role Steam Awards 2018. So the bot would know that if the user typed in SA 2018, that it would know that it actually corresponds to the value Steam Awards 2018, right? That's one way. The other way would just be using uh, reactions to have you know users assign themselves to roles, which I'll do that in another video. But for now, we're going to use this approach with the keywords. So let's go ahead and say okay. Now the next thing I want to I want to clarify is that um, where's my uh. Okay, so it's safe to assume that in your array, the first, uh, the first element, not the first element, the first index, or index number one, right, which is the second element, is always going to be the role that the user, is the keyword that the user is going to specify, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do a nested if, if arg sub one, which is going to be the keyword, is equal to. Now here you're going to have basically a long uh, chain of if and else statements, right? So if else if, blah blah blah. And this is just going to be whatever they type in, whatever keyword they type in. So if it's equal to SA2018, if arg sub1 is equal to helper, or help for short, blah, 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 right? Another example would be else if arg sub1 is equal to 
vacuum tuber. These are just sample test rules that I have in my server. So if it's equal to SA2018, then we know for a fact that the user is trying to add themselves to the Steam Awards 2018 role, right? So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get the role object because the only way to add ourselves, the only way for the bot to add the user to a role is by using the add role method. And, to, and the add role method basically takes in the role ID. Now, how do we get the role ID, right? This is this is an information that you can get via the Discord server, right? So what you do is you get the role object first. Okay, so let's do that. So create a variable called role, or you can create a constant, whatever you want. Var, var, variable role is equal to message dot guild, right? Dot roles dot find. And I'll explain what this means in a second. Inside the two, uh, you're going to have two parameters, name, and the second parameter is very important. You have to make sure it's it's the exact same way. Otherwise, you're going to get null. Okay, you have to be exact same way, word for word, letter for letter, uh, character for character. Make sure it's uh, same thing uh, in terms of, uh, I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but I guess you can figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so basically what this means is, okay, so the message is the message object. The message has a property called guild, which represents um, the guild that the message was sent in, which is your server, right? The guild has a property called roles, okay? Uh, and I'll show you guys in the docs so you guys can use this as a reference, right? So this is how you would use the docs, ideally, if you're new to discord.js or just reading docs in general. Guild.roles, okay? And this represents all the rules that are in the guild. Now, some people might get confused with members. Uh, let me just show you guild member. Now, this roles represents all the roles that are applied to the guild member, not the server roles, the guild member roles, okay? There's a huge difference between those two. So, remember, it's guild.roles. Roles is a collection, and inside this collection, well, this collection, there's a method called find, which is what you're going to use to find uh you know, whatever role that you want um, that exists in your server. Now, we don't have to account for cases where it's null since we know for a fact the user is actually typing in a role that exists. And in fact, uh, you'll never even reach this case anyways if, they, if, it, if the user doesn't match this keyword. So if it matches this keyword, then we know for a fact that they're trying to add themselves to the desired role or in, in an existing role. If it doesn't match the keyword, then you can just account for that in an else casing that, oh yeah, um, this role doesn't exist or, you know, you're trying to add yourself to a special role, for example, admin, okay? So yeah, this would basically give us the role object. So now role is now a role object, right? What you're going to do now is you can just go ahead and write yourself a message saying, you know, role found. What you're going to do is now you're going to add your, you're going to add the user to a role. So message dot uh, member. Uh, add role and role dot id because the role has a property called id and you can say message dot member uh, I'm sorry message dot channel dot send uh, role successfully added there we go and let's go ahead and just restart our bot and just make sure everything works perfectly um, add role SA 2018, and you can see our name went from gray or white to orange. I'm pretty sure it's gray. Yeah, it's gray. Let me just do that again so I can see for myself. Yep, there we go. Rule successfully added, right? Uh, if I let's say for example, if I do something like you know this, um, it's not going to crash your bot. Sometimes uh, if you don't if you don't if you don't account for the case. Um, it might crash your bot, but just make sure if you follow this structure, it won't crash your bot ever, and it won't you won't ever let you know users add themselves to the administrator role. And I actually like this method too because you don't have to check permissions as well. But there's multiple ways you can deal with it though. It's up to you. Um, let's see. So yeah, I can go ahead and do the same thing for you know the helper role too. Just copy and paste this. And if you want to be uh, more neat, you can go ahead and just write a function. For example, what I would do is I would just say, okay, function add user role. You don't want to do add role because that that method already exists. Um, yeah, so function add role. K 
Okay, and what I would do in this case is I would pass in the role name. I would pass in two things, a role name and a message, and the message object, right? Um, so I'll just show you guys what I, how, how this would work. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to put this over here. The reason why I need the message object is that's how I'm going to get, you know, the guild, the roles. That's how I'm basically going to get all the information of the user and the server, okay? So over here, if they say, okay, helper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in um, add user role. I'm going to pass in two arguments, the role name, which is helper, and the message object, okay? So now I'm in this function over here. And I can just basically do whatever I want. So I basically find the role over here. Um, okay, so actually in this case, this is where you're going to have to account for whether or not the thing is null. The reason why is because this role name can be whatever. Um, actually, you know, actually no, I still don't think you need to. Um, yeah, I, I still don't think you need to. But it would be good practice though. But you don't need to. So this role name is basic because essentially what's happening is when you when it matches one of the keywords, you're forcefully passing in um, a string literal helper, which is the name of the role, which is what I did for uh, my other server for my other bot. Okay, and then you just basically do okay um, message dot member dot add role uh, role dot id and then return to go back to where we came from. Okay, role successfully added. So let's actually try that out. Just do, uh, let me just test that out real quick. Add role helper. And we should have the helper role. Yep, perfect. And yeah, so that's how it works. And uh, yeah, I don't see any problems with this. Um, now you can kind of like mimic the same thing for delete. Um, so if you know how to, if you understood all of this, you can do the same thing for uh, the, the delete function. Um, a couple things that I will note is that make sure in your server, um, your bot, so for example, let's say some servers, they'll have, you know, an admin role and a moderator role, right? Make sure your bot, make sure, first of all, make sure the admin role, any of your, make sure any of your admin roles are never below, um, any of these roles because it, like users will be able to actually add themselves to the admin role. Um, actually, well, I don't think you have to worry about that because, um, the only way they'll, they'll actually be able to add themselves to admin role is if you let them basically, you know, providing a keyword. So you don't have to worry about that. But make sure that uh, you might run into permission problems. So what I recommend is making sure your bot, uh, I would just assign it a, a role called bot and then putting the role above every other, other role uh, just to be safe. And so that means the bot can assign uh, the user to any of these other roles below it. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I uh, have to say for this tutorial. So hopefully uh, this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Uh, peace, guys.